हेलो एवरी वन आई एम दत्तात्रय निकम वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन अवर चैनल ई फंडा न्यू डे न्यू टॉपिक एंड अवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज टेंडर डॉक्यूमेंट और मटेरियल रिक्विजेशन पार्ट सेवेंटीन एज मैंशन अर्लियर दिस टॉपिक विल बी प्रेजेंट इन पार्ट एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू अवर चैनल ई फंडा देन वॉच ऑल द वीडियोज क्रिएटेड रिलेटेड टॉपिक ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन एंड कंट्रोल प्रोजेक्ट करियर फंडामेंटल्स टेलीकम्युनिकेशन etc and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get latest notification on upload of our new video on our channel e fanda so let's begin with our today's topic that is tender document or material requisition part 17a project procurement engineering this we are presenting in parts procurement process part 17 which was already published tender document or material requisition part 17a that is this video technical bd evaluation tb that is part 17b that will be the next video vendor document engineering part 17c that will be the last video of this series project procurement engineering introduction to tender document material requisition what is a tender process a tender process as shown below in figure that is tendering contracting block diagram is a method by which suppliers are selected for the provision of a product and services required by an organization a tender document help the organization to select best possible supplier available and include document such as statement of work request for information and request for proposal preparation of a tender document advertising action provision of a tender document provision of a clarification on the document these are the parameters or the parts of the tendering process similarly in engineering project cycle material requisition that is mr document is used to follow tendering process now in this video we are planning to understand the concept of material requisition a material requisition also known as a material requisition form or material request is a document used by the production department to request material they need to complete a manufacturing process to capture this requirement a separate document is prepared by each engineering discipline addressing the requirements related to the specific item as part of the project scope the format of mr varies with organization however one shall ensure that all the requirements related to the specific item to be procured as part of the detail engineering scope of work content of material requisition that is mr for understanding mr requirement a simplified format of mr we will discuss as part of this video here we will see the attachment 1 that is technical requirement under this section one shall cover detail technical requirement indicating instruction to bidder or a vendor other technical information covered in brief the detail bill of material that is bom along with material or item description material code along with quantity shall be attached as part of the mr here we are going to show you the typical mr format where revision control sheet is being used one can refer the left hand side figure where revision control sheet as well as attachments are shown here one can see all the attachments are listed there is attachment 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 these are the typically eight attachments are covered as part of the mr indicating or standardizing the requirement so as the material requisitions will be perfect and the nothing or no in additional information shall be required or requested by vendor additionally here these various attachments we will discuss in our next slide similarly one can show or see on a right hand side where bulk material quantity is shown that is a bo material where item code material code bom number material description required quantity is also indicated 
in continuation to attachment 1 now we will see attachment 2 that is the specification under this section item project specific item specification shall be attached for bidder to provide a technical quotation to meet the project scope requirement this is an additional document it will be part of the mr attachment 3 item data sheet under this section details of a specific item data sheet to include tag number characteristics and application shall be covered as part of the material requisition scope attachment 4 project or scope drawing under this section project scope specific pnid feed or bid deliverable drawings are applicable shall be attached as part of the material requisition attachment 5 client specification under this section all the applicable client specification in addition to the project specification shall be attached for bidder to comply the client's requirement attachment 6 inspection and a testing requirement under this section inspection testing requirement shall be covered specifically related to the required item their quality their inspection point and the testing requirement shall be covered attachment 7 supplier document register or requirement under this section the requirement related to the submission of a respective item document such as GAD, wiring diagram, data sheet, interface document, inspection report, dispatch material, etc. will be covered as part of the attachment 7. Attachment 8, compliance checklist. Under this section, bidder shall provide compliance statement to all the technical requirement received as part of the MR. This is how the 8 attachments are standardized to cover specific requirement of the material requisition so as the all the sections will be maintained technically correct and all the requirements will be listed this is how one will not miss the actual or the minimum requirements of any item while purchasing or as part of the procurement engineering cycle material requisitions this material requisition will serve as a tendering document where vendor, bidder shall comply all the requirements and based on experience submit their proposals or technical offer for further review and order placement. A simplified material requisition form is again shown for ready reference. This is how the various vendors are covered or various client requirements are covered as part of this one and it will be serve as a tendering process to the vendor. The review evaluation of a vendor offer or a BDL proposal shall be checked thoroughly before order placement or initiating procurement process. In our next part technical evaluation video, we will detail out the complete process of review and the evaluation. Thanks for watching our today's video. With this, we are concluding on our today's topic and you can find our channel details as follows. If you are new to our channel, that is our YouTube channel eFunda, then subscribe to our channel eFunda and don't forget to press bell icon to get latest notification of upload of our new video on our channel eFunda. Similarly, you can follow us on Instagram page. Similarly, you can follow us on our Facebook page as well. And Keep watching our channel eFunda for various topics related to engineering and a project. With this, we can assure you this will help you to better your understanding on engineering and a project topic. Keep watching our channel eFunda. Thanks. Watch our channel for new day, new topic.